Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you all are having a blessed day today. Well, basically, um, a lot of people are always giving me um, information to pass on, and that's what I exactly want to do. So one of my friends from Beaumont, um, the Beaumont Port Arthur area, so this is what happened. So I want you all to listen. You know, let me tell y'all something. We have to live in a, a, a state of alert. Come on, somebody, not fear. I say alert, although it's causing fear. You have to stay alert because these people are doing everything. And to be honest with you, I would say just strangers, but nah, at this moment in everything, you got to watch everybody. I don't care who it is. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this video. And I want you to shag and tear, uh, share, let's tear, <laughs> share it. Yeah, let's tell the enemy. Thanks for staying up for 12 News. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Tonight, a warning from a group of siblings who say they were almost abducted in the parking lot outside Wingstop. The sisters tell us this happened last night. They say flowers from a stranger made one of them dizzy and disoriented. 12 News reporter Jordan Foster joins us live outside of Wingstop with the story. Jordan? That's right, Kelsey. This was a classic case of you don't think something like this can happen to you until it does. And now Mary Clark and her sisters are warning people to be more cautious of their surroundings. Mary Clark and her two siblings were leaving this wing stop on College Street in Beaumont when she says a man came up to them asking if they wanted to buy flowers. But then something went wrong. Everything just happened quick and fast. Clark says her sister began acting funny after that man tried to give them the flowers. She barely could speak because, like, when as soon as I was calling her name, like, she wouldn't respond to me. Like, she said she was dizzy. And that's when Clark and her siblings thought something was wrong with the flowers. The three immediately called the police. And when they tried to look for the man afterwards, he was already gone. Family members couldn't believe what happened. You got to keep your kids close to you because people are snatching them for everything. After they told police what happened, they took their sister to the hospital. Cyan Clark wasn't there when this happened to her younger sister, but was shocked when she heard the news. And it's, it's so surreal that it would happen to one of your closest family members, like, and your actual sister. Like, you wouldn't think that it would happen in Beaumont, because you, you want to think that it's your hometown, like, safe. Now, this family wants to get the word out to remind everyone to always be aware of their surroundings, no matter what. They have to stick together when they go out. Don't go out one at a time. Go out just like they did. They did the right thing. They were together. But you never know. People, it's happening just like that. And the family tells me they did file a police report with the Beaumont Police Department, but say they were told because no actual crime was committed, charges may not be filed. I'm not tonight in Beaumont. Jordan Foster, 12 News. Jordan, thank you. Tonight we now. All right. So basically, what had happened is they was at Wingstop, and this guy came up to him with some flowers. And he kept asking if they wanted to buy the flowers and point blank, they kept saying no. But the flowers that got so close to them, one of the sisters started, you know, being lethargic, slurred words. So what they're doing is they're actually putting stuff on flowers to make you, these people are thinking about everything to do. So they put whatever it was on flowers I guess to cause them to pass out. Again, we're not trying to install fear, but protect our sisters, brothers, whoever you are. You, I'm, I'm sorry. I know y'all don't want to face it because we love to think that everything is just so okay. It's not. We live in a demonic state world, point like in the story. You got to watch your surroundings. You got to watch people and you got to be ready. I, I, I'm so serious. I've been talking about this for years. You better get in shape. You better be able to defend yourself. You baby. You, all right. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm, I'm serious. This stuff is getting, it's hot out here. Y'all playing. I don't care if we're Christians or not. God did not call us to be stupid. And what that means, you got to be, you got to protect yourself. Y'all sitting up there, y'all better, uh, I'm talking about stop being on your phones in public too, especially when you're by yourself. When I'm by myself, I don't even like answering the phone. I really don't because I want to stay uh, alert. Come on somebody, hallelujah. So just wanted y'all to um, know what's going on. Now they're putting the stuff on flowers. Lord have mercy. So please share and tag and be careful out there. Yes, we love the Lord, we Christians, but you have to use wisdom and discernment as well. All right, you guys, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Roll Out Soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.